Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the Bible's most powerful and poignant stories, the story of Cain and Abel. This ancient tale, found in the book of Genesis, carries timeless lessons about jealousy, faith and consequences. Let's journey back to the beginning of humanity and uncover the events that unfolded between the first two sons of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, the first man and woman, were blessed with two sons. Cain, the firstborn, worked the soil, while his younger brother Abel kept flocks. As they grew, each chose to honour the Lord with offerings from their respective labours. One day, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. Abel, on the other hand, brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favour upon Abel and his offering, but he did not look with favour on Cain and his offering. This difference in reception stirred deep feelings in Cain. Cain was outraged, and his face was downcast. Seeing this, the Lord spoke to Cain, asking why he was angry and downcast. The Lord reminded Cain that if he did what was right, he would be accepted. However, if he did not do what was right, sin was crouching at his door, desiring to have him, but Cain must rule over it. Despite the Lord's warning, Cain's jealousy consumed him. He invited Abel out to the field. While they were there, Cain attacked Abel and killed him. The Lord confronted Cain, asking where his brother Abel was. Cain responded defensively, claiming not to know, and asking if he was his brother's keeper. The Lord revealed that Abel's blood cried out from the ground and declared that Cain was under a curse. The ground would no longer yield its crops for Cain, and he would become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain, overwhelmed by the severity of his punishment, cried out that it was more than he could bear. He feared that whoever found him would kill him. In response, the Lord placed a mark on Cain to protect him from being killed and declared that anyone who killed Cain would suffer vengeance seven times over. Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. He made love to his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was then building a city, and he named it after his son Enoch. Generations passed, leading to various descendants, including Lamech, who had two wives, Ada and Zillah. Lamech boasted to his wives that he had killed a man for wounding him, declaring that if Cain was avenged seven times, then Lamech seventy-seven times. Meanwhile, Adam and Eve had another son, whom they named Seth. Eve said, God has granted me another child in place of Abel since Cain killed him. Seth also had a son named Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. The story of Cain and Abel teaches us about the dangers of jealousy, the importance of doing what is right, and the enduring consequences of our actions. It reminds us that even in the midst of wrongdoing, there is an opportunity for redemption and new beginnings. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more stories from the Bible, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, Stay blessed and keep calling on the name of the Lord.